I'm Matt Lair, founder of Dare to Be Different and director of marriage mentoring at Love and Respect. I want to help you save marriages in your church and in your community by following five simple steps. We have trained couples all over the world on how to build this marriage-saving, church-growing strategy that's biblical at its core. I want to help you discover these five steps. And number one is getting to the root. I want to help you understand the difference between behavior therapy and spiritual transformation. We believe that getting couples to a place of spiritual transformation is far more important than simple behavior modification, whether it's cognitive or psychology. We really want to get them over into the spiritual awakening with the power of God and His Son Jesus. Getting people to a place of spiritual transformation starts with the power of Ephesians 5.33. Dr. Emerson Egrich has coined this phrase and he has built this worldwide ministry on this truth that without love and respect, that the relationship will not succeed. So we've wrapped love and respect around our mentoring method. We also are very intentional when we mentor marriages to establish that they're saved, they're born again, that they believe in Jesus and they have committed to follow him. In addition to that, we like to extract where core sin might reside in the life of a believer. Maybe a Christian has fallen along the wayside and they're struggling and they need to repent so that they can be forgiven and that their spouse would be healed and that they would be healed. So we bring people back to a place of repentance to God and forgiveness so they can find healing. And this method is open to the leading of the Spirit. We're helping mentors understand what that means so that the Spirit of God can lead them in bringing in the right verse and the right truth at the right time and in the right way. We also have created a method of mentoring that is very visual and it is very biblical. We break this method down into three key elements where we mediate first, we teach second, we confront third. Training a team of mentors to mediate, teach, and confront couples in crises puts us in a position of real impact on masses of broken marriages. Mediation is based on this idea that we can get couples to round the bases and identify and confirm and offer solutions and resolve their solutions in a way that's loving and respectful. So we have a visual guide to help them. It's also important to note that in order to become an expert at biblical mediation, we need to get our arms around what's really happening so we can determine what we're going to mediate on. So we've created an online marriage health assessment. It's 177 questions that provides clarity to mentors on what precise issues are we going to be addressing for 10 weeks and how are we going to address them. This takes all the guesswork out of it for mentors. It creates a lot of efficiency and helps mentors know exactly what they're going to be taking couples around the bases on and resolving. Once we get them to score, which is to resolve an issue through the biblical mediation, we then bring in the scriptures and we teach them the power of scripture. We plant truth on fertile soil that comes from the idea of mediation. Lastly, we confront the heart. And this is where it goes really deep. This is where we dive into core sin or salvation or what's really going on behind the scenes, the issue behind the issue. And the confrontation is so loving and so careful that the couples that are being confronted hardly even feel it. Yet, we bring them to a place of acknowledgement, confession, and repentance, and in many cases, salvation. This is where the overhaul happens. This is where they fall into spiritual transformation. Some churches even call this method of mediating, teaching, and confronting sort of like a secret, like a secret weapon. 
The old way of helping couples in crises is often we overteach them way too much information and none of it takes root. Or maybe we just send them to a marriage enrichment class and we'd cross our fingers. Or maybe we outsource them to counselors in the area that may or may not be biblical. Or in many cases, we do nothing. The third core element to our five-step process in saving marriages in your church is to think bigger. Don't just stop at training mentors. Once you have a team of trained mentors, you can build a long-term strategy of marriage events that funnel hurting marriages into the arms of your gifted and trained mentors. Now you have a strategy that's leverageable and powerful. I remember a church recently where I had 200 couples signed up on one weekend to get help. We know the need is there. We want to be preemptive, proactive. Let's not wait for the phone to ring. Let's not wait till it's too late and they're separated and there's no hope. And so we think long term on how to recruit hurting marriages every single year in a way that's effective and it's proactive. The fourth element to our five-step process is to leverage the time of your leaders. When you equip a team of lay people in your church, you are actually having an immediate impact on reducing the stress of your staff and your pastors. If 10 couples get mentored in your church in one year, that represents about 200 man hours of labor. And your lay mentors, they volunteer their time. Marriage mentors volunteer their time and it takes a huge load off your staff. And that doesn't even mention the fact that it saves the mentees nearly $24,000 if they were all to go seek professional help and pay the going rate. Some churches that I've trained are routing 50 to 100 couples through their program in one year. 50 couples equals 1,000 man hours for the church and it represents over $120,000 of counseling fees if they were to have sought professional help. Many couples won't even go to a professional because of the cost and many couples are utterly disappointed with the counsel that they're receiving from professionals. And I'm not throwing professionals under the bus. There are some great ones, but by and large, professionals are not bringing the power of biblical truth. That leads us to the final piece in our five-step process. We want to invest in your mentors long-term. We want a long-term relationship to offer support, and every church is different and requires a unique approach that fits their vision and their environment. So we have our own leadership training model that fits your church. You can customize it. We have all these steps laid out for a long-term plan on how to invest in your mentors, on how to install the process, launch the program, and offer continued education and coaching for your mentors. Some of those elements are free of charge and some of those are optional subscription-based. But nonetheless, we don't just train your mentors and bail out and hope that it all works. We are here for the long haul. Who is this process for, you might be thinking? You must be dedicated to the mission to save marriages in your church. You must understand the mission requires far more than light level mentoring, teaching, or generic counseling. And you must be committed to follow through when empowering others around you. You must be a person who takes action and learns along the way. Sometimes we're asked, why are we doing all this? Why are we doing it this way? We do it because we are tired of seeing families dissolve all around us. We've seen countless innocent children traumatized by their parents' decisions to divorce. We've seen pastors burned out trying to save everyone. And we've seen church congregations divided over prominent couples divorcing. We care. And we've seen an army of mentors all throughout the world make a tremendous impact on this cause. So spaces are very limited. All I'm asking you to do is to sign up right now to talk to me. It's free of charge. And I'll review your options. I'll review any questions you have. All you have to do is go to daretobedifferent.com forward slash let's talk. And I will help you. I'll answer your questions. I'll give you all your options on how to launch. Again, daretobedifferent.com forward slash let's talk. I hope to see you soon.